Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and today we're gonna be ranking all Life is Strange games. So that means Captain Spirit, For the Storm, the original Life is Strange, and Life is Strange 2. I'm gonna be giving you my opinions and why I rank them, and I'd love to hear your opinions down in the comment section below. Even if you rank them the same as me, we could have different reasons. So yeah, let's get into it. At number four, we have The Amazing Adventures of Captain Spirit. Now, I don't think this is necessarily a bad game, but it's just a short game. It was definitely a really cool introduction to the one of the one of my favorite characters from Life is Strange 2 and I enjoyed playing as Chris um, you know I had theories that were obviously wrong and were proved wrong when I played Life is Strange 2 but it was a really cool introduction you know we got to see kind of like a sneak peek of Sean and Daniel and the episode of Life is Strange where Chris shows up is actually one of my favorite episodes which I'll get to in a second but yeah not much else to say here pretty cool but overall short experience at number three, we have Life is Strange 2. And now I actually made a, a really in-depth video a few months ago talking about my opinions on Life is Strange 2. But out of the main games, it is my least favorite. Just to go over a few of the reasons why, um, well, actually, I'll talk about the things that I liked first. So the first three episodes were my favorite. I loved, I loved playing those episodes. But then after the third one, it just kind of fell off for me. I didn't really feel too interested in it. Overall, as characters, I think... Daniel and Sean are all right. I definitely like Daniel more than Sean. I, I get he's trying to protect his, his little brother and, and whatnot, but it just seems like a lot of the decisions he makes are, are kind of ridiculous, and I'm not a big fan of them. I also feel like the game could have benefited from a two player system or, or going back and forth between playing as Daniel and playing as Sean, and maybe some more power scenes to go along with that. I think that would have been really cool. So yeah, that is why it's at number three. At number two, we have Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now, actually, when I first played this, I actually didn't enjoy it a lot, but recently, as in like within the past year, I went back and played it again, and it actually grew on me quite a bit. I talked about this in my last Life is Strange video, but I really, really enjoy being able to see what Chloe was like before the first Life is Strange game to kind of fill in those story gaps and... You know, obviously we know what happens, we're told what happens, but we don't experience what happens. I really enjoy, you know, meeting Rachel, although she isn't my favorite character. It is cool finally getting to meet this elusive Rachel that everyone's talking about in the first game. With it being a prequel, we got to see the origin of a lot of the things in the first game. Like Chloe's truck, you know, their little home at the junkyard. When she dyes her hair blue, like a lot of the stuff that's just kind of there in the first game we get to see it and and actually see the progression of how things happen which is really cool i also like the uh, the wildfire aspect of how it happens and then it just slowly grows o over the course of the game i love seeing what blackwell was like before max got there overall life is strange before the storm is probably the game that has grown on me the most in the past few years but it is still second to the first game i've talked about this a million times in a million different videos but I love I love the first game. I love the characters. I love the story. I love the soundtrack. I love the atmosphere of the first game. It's one of those games that actually makes you feel something. Like you you really I know I've said this a million times, but I I can play Life is Strange and forget about everything else. I am no longer me. I am someone else in a completely different world, and that's what I love about this game. I love playing as Max. I love all the different interactions. I love the time travel aspect and being able to, to rewind conversations and see what other outcomes would look like and being able to warn people from danger and, you know, this kind of like great power comes great responsibility thing going on internally in Max. And I just, I love this game. It's 10 out of 10. It's one of my favorite video games of all time. Has some of my favorite video game characters and locations in video games. So I feel like I've, I've talked about this about as much as I can, but I, I will have a uh, linked in the description and on a card, a uh, more in-depth video of me talking about this. So yeah, I definitely want to hear what your ranking of the games are in the comment section below let me know and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want more life is strange or just gaming content in general and i'll see you guys later peace